What's up family? How you guys doing today? Today we'll be doing an unboxing and review of the RTX 2070 Super by EVGA. Let's get this done. The RTX 2080 is based on their Turing architecture. This card has a boost clock of 1770 MHz. It has a memory clock of 14,000 megahertz effective. It has 2,560 CUDA cores, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 bit width bandwidth with a memory bandwidth of 448 gigabits per second. The dimension of the card is 4.38 inches by 10.62 inches. Some of the key features here is NVIDIA's ray tracing technology which is what this card about which is what the RTX means Nvidia's ray tracing is just basically how the card renders the light it has tensor cores and Nvidia DLSS which is basically AI anti-aliasing it has Nvidia adaptive shading Nvidia GeForce Experience Arsenal highlights G-Sync GPU boost NVLink, which is basically their SLI technology, game ready drivers. Whenever new games are out, the drivers are already optimized for the games. It has the newest DirectX 12, Vulkan API, and OpenGL 4.6. It has the latest Display Port 1.4, HDMI 2.0B, and USB Type C. It is HDCP 2.2 ready and VR ready. Make sure when you pick up this card, your power supply has a minimum of 650 watts. Let's get to the unboxing. And we're gonna need a knife this time. All right, let's open it up. Hmm, we have a little towel over here. Like a little bit difficult. Yeah. All right, let's open up this box. What we are greeted with is their little instructional guide, or the installation guide, and it shows you how to install the graphic card into the PC. The next thing is something very nice that we will look at later. Put it aside. More phone. That's it. There is no other parts with it or anything. Hmm. Normally they would have some adapters for uh, power adapters, but okay. Unless they are hidden to plastic somewhere here. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Let's get to removing the graphic card from its static uh, protective box. The best part of opening any product is removing all the plastic protectiveness. You gotta take these off. Increases performance by 10%. Every one you remove increases your performance. Here is the 2070 Super by EVGA. It is a dual fan style. It will keep it nice and cool while you're gaming. Over here we have a protective shield for the PCIe slot. It's a Gen 3 by 16. Over here is where you put your NV link if you want to do SLI. We have a 6 pin plus 8 pin power design. So, what we have here is a USB Type C. We have HDMI, a display port, another display port, and another display port, and an exhaust. One thing I wish this card had was a back shield, it makes it look a little bit nicer. So now let's go slap it in the computer and see how it performs. So some of the synthetics that we are looking at is Uni Engine Valley. 
and the first benchmark we're running at 1080p and we get pretty good frame rate and a high score but when we crank up the settings to 1340 by 1440 we see a noticeable drop in performance which is to be expected it is harder on the computer and we notice the same trend with heaven and with superposition benchmarks and running 3d mark fire strike and spy next we'll go into our gaming benchmarks first we look at crisis and yes this graphic card can handle crisis and we see the same trend with crisis as we see with the synthetic benchmarks at 1080p which is donated by the blue bars we get a higher frame rate we see the same trend with mass effect andromeda battlefield 5 and we see the same trend with gothic remake and metro last life this graphic card chews through games at 1080p however when we are reaching 4k or ultra wide it struggles a little bit, but we still maintain around 40 to 60 FPS and nothing that's very playable frame rate. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and hit the bell. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment box. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comment box. If you like this video, please like it. And I'll see you guys next time.